Ouch! Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today was a random week on Body Bags, so figured I'd review a movie I've been really, really excited to see, and that is the Poughkeepsie Tapes. And I had heard about this movie years and years ago. I, it's it's been a long, long time since I heard of this movie, but uh, I was really excited back in the day when this was first getting announced in the festival circuit and all that. And uh, I remember back in the day uh, when this first came out, I was re getting really into like disturbing cinema, you know, classics like Martyrs and Inside and stuff like that. But I was getting real deep into disturbing movies and this title always came up, but we no one was ever able to buy it. You had to watch rips of it on YouTube, which I never did because I don't like doing that really, unless it's something like a fan film or something, but I always wanted a legit release of this, and I kept waiting for it, kept waiting, and I eventually forgot all about it, and then um, Scream Factory actually, you know, Scream Factory was slipping for a while, but on their last batch of movies, they actually had a really surprising list of movies they were doing, like this was on it, uh, the Strangers Special Collector's Edition was on it, which I'm excited for. Um, they had The Resurrected. You know, they've been putting out some gems recently, but I was really excited to check this out. It's, a, uh, you know, it's first home video release, and it's on Blu-ray, which is cool. But uh, the film itself, I'll just give a basic synopsis. Basically, it opens with this huge collection of uh, videotapes found in this guy's closet. And upon watching them, you're getting like talking head interviews of uh, people that watch these tapes and FBI profilers and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, they try to make this as real as possible. But anyways, they're watching these tapes and it's basically the, the serial killer of upstate New York documenting his crimes and his killings and all that. And then you're getting interviews of people that knew the victims of the people who are getting tortured on these tapes. And, uh, that's basically it. I mean, there's like a, in the middle, there's like a lot where nothing's going on. And then, you know, they think they got the killer and they put him to death and then it ends up being, you know, the killer's still out there. And that's all I'm going to give you because I don't want to ruin it for you. But I mean, that's basically the plot. You're basically looking into the mind frame and the daily going on of a serial killer. Uh, cause it's all documented on the tapes and, you know, they keep saying how of a mastermind he was because he, like, lures in, like, Girl Scouts, uh, older women, everybody doesn't discriminate. But in the movie, he's actually a cop that goes around and does it and stuff. And uh, for the most part, it's really believable. You, If you saw this on, like, uh, true crime TV or something, you wouldn't think uh, twice about it. But there are some, a few people in this that uh, bring it down because their acting is not as believable, like, the serial killer's son, I remember vividly, is one of the people that uh, his performance just wasn't believable and kind of took me out of it. And there was a few other people, like I think some of the FBI people. But, uh, I mean, other than that, this movie was actually had some really chilling scenes in it. Uh, one in particular, this chick's like tied up screaming or whatever. And you see the, I think he's called the, the River Water Killer. I think that's what it was. Or the River Street Killer. And he comes just crawling out on his hands and knees and everything and just like he's got this mask on top of his head that's creepy looking and he's like looking at her with that mask and when he comes up he's got another mask on and it's got this long nose thing it's just really eerie and uh another memorable scene that really was caught me by surprise and was really eerie is uh you know these couple they're sleeping at home and uh the one dude goes up to get a drink and you see the POV of the killer because he's videotaping it. He's just following him around, watching him. And the dude turns on the kitchen lights and you see the reflection of the killer in the mirror. And it's just really creepy. And uh, I got to say, I watched this real late. I think I put this on about uh, midnight, 1230 at night and watched it alone, pitch black. And it was perfect. It was, it was really creepy, unsettling. And you know, it was worth the wait to me. A lot of people were saying it wasn't as good because of the hype that built up. But, you know, I still really enjoyed it. It was worth the hype. I, uh, you know, it didn't let me down. I uh, wish there was a few more creepy scenes or some of the videotapes you see don't really lead anywhere. I wish they kind of did. And that may be sick to say, but 
it is what it is. You know, I'm just really stoked to have this on Blu-ray. It's, uh, you know, it's probably one of my releases of the year. Uh, as far as special features go, there's not really much. There's some interviews with the director and actress and a theatrical trailer. That's it, but I'm not going to complain just because I'm super stoked to have it. I mean, this just came out, so this, it was like 19 18 bucks, but definitely worth it to me, especially figuring how long we've waited. And one thing cool I want to point out is Orion oh, Pictures. They were gone for a while, and their big comeback was with a uh, uh, Belko experiment. This is the second release I've seen. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, but it's an Orion, yeah, Orion picture too. So I think that's cool. They're making a comeback or whatever. But yeah, definitely pick this up. DVD, Blu-ray, Blu-ray combo pack. You you can't go wrong with this movie. Like if you like Henry or any kind of serial killer movie like that, or have any kind of interest and. In, serial killers you know this is this would be right up your alley like you know the norm i want to say one more thing before i check out here the normal at like if for huge horror fans this probably won't disturb you or anything it'll probably just breeze right by but for the average like normal movie viewer that's not real into horror and kind of you know just passes by it and all that this will probably mess them up like for the average person this movie's probably horrifying so, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. But anyways, guys, peace.